Hello everyone and welcome back to my YouTube channel. Today I'm starting my London Fashion Week vlog. So excited to do this um, because I've never vlogged this experience. So it'll be really fun to share it with you. Um, I am just at the train station now waiting for my train to head into London. First stop, um, I'm popping into River Island to pick up some um, pieces to wear over the Fashion Week and then I'm going for a blow dry, hence why I have not done my hair this morning and it looks like this. So yeah, let's get going. So I'm at River Island Style Studio now. Um, I'm just picking up a few pieces to wear over London Fashion Week. Um, I'm just gonna show you all of their newest bits in. I really love this black um, blazer because you could wear it as a dress as well, I think. I think it is long enough to wear it as a dress. Love that. This is such a cool space. You can have them, um, you can book personal shopping experiences here as well and they've got a team of stylists so you can come in and, and they can like style you up and try new things. So this is the look I have chosen. Um, it is a blazer, but I have, well the stylist actually helped me. We've wrapped this belt round it, so it is more like a dress. Um, I'm not actually keeping these boots, I'm just trying them on with it, but they are like a really cool western boot. And then how amazing is this bag? I really like this. I literally just need my hair sorting out because I just feel like, you know, and you just don't feel like yourself when your hair's not done. But I love this. I've just got to be careful as well here that I'm not slipping any nips. You start out Won't take your word for it. You think I think fanatically. You start out looking. Won't take your word for it. And it pains me to believe in you and everything you said about you. And I reminisce your foolish shit. Tell me that I'm not ahead of you. Yes, I am, yes, I am, yes, I am, yes, I am. Yes, I am, yes, I am, yes, I am, yes, I am. Yes, I am, yes, I am, yes, I am, yes, I am. Yes, I am, yes, I am, yes, I am, yes, I am. I'll take advice happily. You're trying to destroy me. You won't. an issue getting into London so they didn't come and I just went on my own I've never been to a show on my own so it was kind of like I don't know it was a bit daunting but obviously when you get in there it's absolutely fine the collection was amazing as you would have seen in here it was like so pretty and romantic um, and definitely loads of vibes that I love so I'm just going to meet Jenna and Gabriella we are gonna do some outfit photos and have some lunch I think so it's a beautiful day in London Jenna now and we are at Sassoni's. So, how am I saying it? Chicconi's. <laughs> how do you say it? Chicconi's. Chicconi's. And our food has arrived and how delicious. It's a little bit behind the scenes of the girls shooting. They are busy getting at the shot and I am busy eating a peanut butter, whoops, chop chip bar, but it's supposed to be healthy so it's quite good. It's quite nice actually. Work it. We are on Burlington Gardens. It's really pretty around here. Okay. 
I am back home now and um, only did one show today and um, I quite like just like taking it London Fashion Week easy hang yeah yeah hang on I'm just filming um, this isn't a very flattering angle is it so back home now it's about six o'clock um, I didn't stay in London there's like always lots of like parties and events going on in the evenings at London Fashion Week but I don't really like to party and um, my brother's coming over for dinner which is really nice so well we're going out for dinner but we will come back here after to chill and probably have pudding and stuff like that um, but whenever anyone comes round, I always feel like I need to clean the bathroom I don't, I just get really paranoid that people, I just hate the thought of anyone thinking, oh your bathroom's not clean, so, <coughs> I'm literally just waiting for Tom to get out of the shower, and then I can quickly clean the bathroom, if you're in the Hertfordshire area you might know what it is, it's like a smokehouse, and my brother really likes his meats, so it will be really nice, um, I normally have like some sort of chickeny burgery thing there um, but everything is really tasty and it's just like a really cool place it's probably well, probably like a 10 ish minute 10 15 minute walk from um, our flat so he's gonna come here and we're gonna walk there which will be really nice so not gonna take the camera tonight I'm gonna leave it here so I will catch up with you tomorrow morning Hello, so it is Saturday, I am with Georgia and we are shooting um, around Bank area, it's so nice here on a weekend because it's so quiet and we're in and amongst all of these gorgeous buildings, it's so nice, it's actually quite cold today, I'm, I'm not actually cold, my fingers and toes are really cold, oh hello! <laughs> Um, it is nearly, no it's 1.30, I think we're going to grab some lunch, we've been shooting since about half 11 so we're almost done and we're going to grab some lunch and then head back, um, yeah I don't normally shoot on a Saturday but I just, we, we both needed to get some pictures and we had some projects on the go so we just needed to get that done so sometimes it's quite nice to do it on a Saturday. And I'm home and I did the exact same position came and sat here um, last night oh my god that looks like knickers that's honestly not that's <laughs> that's my eye mask I have to sleep with that on um, I have just got back from well not just I've just actually been sitting on my phone you know you get in and you end up just sitting on your um, phone for ages scrolling it through Instagram I just did that um so yeah today is Saturday so I don't know if I said that earlier or not I met Georgia in London and we did some outfit photos um, this weekend is London Fashion Week and this is my London Fashion Week vlog but I'm actually not going today or tomorrow I'll be back there Monday and Tuesday so of course you'll see all of that um, but today I did have a few things, um, like a few invites for today, but I just kind of, I don't like doing the full stint, I find it like too much, I, f I get like quite anxious there, I just feel like there's like so much pressure on everything, um, so and I'm, I don't know, I'm happy to be at home, so that's why I kind of thought I'm not going to do the weekend, I'll do Friday, then do Monday and Tuesday and then like leave the weekend, um, but we got some good outfit photos which was good. But, sorry if TMI, but I came on my period the other day and I just feel so like, you know when you literally just feel on the verge of breaking down in tears for anything? Um, yeah, I don't know. You know, I just feel a little bit out of sorts and just, you know, oh god, I can't believe this is, I'm crying on camera. Pull yourself together, Laura! But yeah, I don't actually really know why, you know, I'm not uh, <laughs> upset for any reason, but you know, when you just feel a little bit, a little bit not you, and you know, I just think whenever I'm on my period, I just feel like at any second, I'm just like on the verge of breaking down. I'm definitely having a weird moment, I think, because now Tom's out for the evening as well, he's out with his friends, and on the way back from the train station, I spoke to him on the phone, but... I couldn't properly hear him and he couldn't properly hear me. I don't know. Things are mis miscommunicated, aren't they, when you're, you're not with someone. The evening now um, to myself, which is nice, um, but I have got some, because obviously I was at London Fashion Week yesterday, Friday, um, I now have got yesterday's emails to catch up on and today's photos to edit, and also I've got some images that I've shot recently for brands, which I have to send over for approval. So I am going to get that done. Um, I had a Leon with Georgia after shooting, 
but I really fancy something sweet. So I feel like I'm going to go to Tesco's and just treat myself to basically any sweets and chocolate that I want. I just really actually fancy some like not Haribo, I can't put my finger on what I fancy, but something like sugary and sweetie. So I might actually just go out now and get that, and then I can get back, have a shower, take my makeup off, get in my pyjamas, get on the sofa and do my laptop work. I didn't mean for all of that to be so dramatic. Um, I just... I don't know, I guess doing this job, a lot of the time I'm just sharing the highlights, like I only share the good stuff, because I don't know, if I don't share bad stuff really because A, I don't want to put it out there and B, I don't want to sp like put my negativity out there. But while I'm doing this vlog, I just thought it's quite a good chance to, I don't know, show you all sides of things. I think it will now be nice just to have a bit of time on my own actually. I feel like I might just put like a really girly film on in the background while I'm doing um, my work as well. I actually made myself a really long to-do list because I love doing that and I find it really satisfying ticking it off so that gives me something to do tonight because although I do love chilling out my mind is quite busy and I'm actually better busy rather than just like sitting there bored so I'm just gonna get all that done tonight and I think that will make me feel better. I am back from Tesco's and I'll show you what I picked up. This is what I picked up for dinner. I have had this before and it's so nice. That's really good. And to be honest, I think this might be two servings, but I think I'm gonna eat all of that. I got some milky bar egg and some wine gums. I'm not gonna eat all of those. Oh, that's a bit hot. Good morning. It is, oh, I should put that on the side. It's Sunday morning and it is, what's the time? 9.31 um, I did do some work last night but I didn't do my emails so um, I am in bed with my laptop and the TV on and I thought I'm just going to get um, a few hours of bits and bobs done because tomorrow I'm in London for London Fashion Week again so I'm going to be away from my laptop um, and emails and stuff like that and I really hate letting it get behind so I thought if I can get it all cleared now Oh, and then we can start um, again next week. Um, so yeah. Oh, last night I was watching more of um, Dirty John. I can't remember if I just said I was watching that last night. When I'm doing Instagram stories and this, I get, sometimes I get modelled up what I've said to which camera. So I started to watch Dirty John on Netflix the other night and it was really good and I watched more last night and it's just getting so good now. So I'm literally going to, like i'm gonna put an alarm on i think for two hours max on my laptop this morning um and then i'm just gonna like laze in bed and watch some more dirty john after it's sunday evening i do not know what's going on with that bit of hair and i'm just gonna do a face mask i love doing face masks on sunday nights and i'm gonna use these which are one of my favorite combos so this is the oromovitsa ultra more mud mask so this one is really like um, clarifying and purifying, detoxifying, all that kind of stuff. Stop being annoying! Um, and then this is the Fresh Rose Face Mask, which is very like hydrating and what else does it say? Infused with real rose petals, hydrates and tones. So these are like a good combination. If you watched my last vlog, I used these same two. Um, then, so I have cleansed my face. It smells really like, um, not minty, what is that word? Eu eucalyptus? Is that the right word? Yeah, kind of. Because it, it is a little bit tingly on the face, it feels so nice, it's, it's really thick, it's nice. Because you know some face masks you put on and you feel like you're just wiping it and it's not actually staying on your face. This definitely stays in its place. So I'm going to wait for this to dry now, it's probably going to take about 10 to 15 minutes so I'm just getting it off my hands um, and then once I take this off I will use the other one. Okay it's finally all dry apart from this little bit because I was just, I got impatient with my tea and biscuits and I already started them with a face mask and got a bit on there but look at that, that's actually disgusting, all those little dots are all of the um, 
like impurities that it's drawing out that's really gross but it's also very satisfying to see so i'm gonna rinse this off now and then apply the other one this is the one that's kind of like jam kind of like marmite oh no no not marmite marmalade <laughs> not marmite but i love oh it's just so like it feels really silky and it just smells nice it feels very like nourishing on the skin after that detoxifying one i'm gonna put a bit of that on my neck all the leftover bits boop, boop, boop. okay I think I'm all covered so again I what does it actually say on the oh, five to ten minutes this one says so I'll give it the full ten minutes I've just rinsed that rose face mask off my face feels really really soft and nice and um, so now I'm just gonna finish off with my evening skincare bits so, so I use this it is the Elemis peptide for eye recovery cream you don't need much at all I just put like a tiny little bit on that finger and then dab 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 I always use my ring finger um, to put on my eye cream because apparently it's your most like um, delicate finger or your, you have the least pressure with that finger and you always have to be very delicate around your um, soft eye area. And then I'm going to use the Marlin, I never know how to say this, it's Marlin or Marlin, Marlin and go it. I actually don't know how to say this so I'm just going to put it here. It's the recovery treatment oil. It is very similar to the Kiehl's um, overnight recovery oil or something like that. Midnight recovery oil, that's the Kiehl's one. Um, but this one is what I've got at the moment. I sort of do four drops, rub it in, and then I just pat it in. I love using an oil at night. I, it's one of my favorite things to do when I'm doing my skincare. It's just, I feel like my skin is just like such a nice treat for it at the end of the day. And then the moisturiser I'm going to use is the Fresh, it's the Lotus um, Youth Preserve Dream Face Night Cream and this really is a dream. This has got so many antioxidants in it and it's also got peach in it so it just smells amazing. Mmm, I love this. Ah, lovely. I just love being fresh and clean and ready for bed. And now I'm going to brush my teeth and also I took my braces up because I was having um, biscuits um, but now I need to brush those as well and put them back in. That's better, a little bit of light. Good morning, it is Monday morning. I am frantically rushing around, I'm trying to get my shoe on but I'm almost ready. But the problem I'm having, just doing some last minute emails as well, is I'm having to fit everything into this bag. I mean, I've really, really gone down. So I've got my sunglasses, obviously. I've had to downsize my power bank charger. So I've gone for a small one. I've got some hair clips, I've tampon, obviously, <laughs> lip balm. I've literally just put in one bank card, not my whole purse. I've got a spare memory card in there. And I think this camera, this camera is gonna have to go in my pocket. This is the jacket I'm wearing to match the trousers and shoes. I can't wait to show you this outfit properly. I love it. So I'm gonna quickly finish packing my bag and sorting out and then I need to leave in literally three minutes. I am just waiting for my train now. Just thought I'd give you a little peek of my outfit. I can't wait to show it you properly. I love it so much. I feel like when I get to London in outfits like this, absolutely fun. But when I'm not in London, like when I'm here in St Albans where I live, people just stare. They just don't get it. I mean, they probably think I'm going to an interview or something because it's quite smart. Maybe I do look like I'm going to an interview or I need to sort this out. The only thing with white roll, um, polo necks, really annoyingly, I always get makeup on them. But yeah, come on train. So I'm at St Pancras now and I've met Sinead, she's also vlogging, we've also got coffees. I haven't had a coffee in three days so I really am looking forward to this one. We're both in cream, I am praying that I do not spill uh, my coffee down there. So we are waiting for Lauren and Naomi to get in now and then we are all going to go to the JW Anderson show together. This is probably the most exciting um, show I've ever been to in my life and I'm so excited and it's also the fact 
fanciest invite. Look how fancy that is. So I'm literally just so excited. And it's really nice to do it with the other girls as well because the show I did on Friday, I did on my own. And it is great, but it's just so much nicer to do it with other people. So I'm so excited and I'll update you as we go. We are in the Uber on the way to our show with all the gals. Mm -hmm. Sinead's up front. Um, but we should have walked because this Uber is taking ages because there's something, I don't know if it's roadworks, traffic know. lights, what's going on, but in London it's actually usually quicker to walk because of the bloody traffic. We are backstage before the JW Anderson show with Kiko makeup. So exciting to see it all going on. Hair, makeup and wardrobe all down there and I'll show you a closer look. Today is a much nicer day. Every time I go to talk, the tannoy goes, we'll just wait for him to finish. Today is a much nicer day than yesterday. It's so sunny. I'm yet again just waiting for another train. I feel like I almost start my videos here, don't I? But today is Tuesday. It is my final day of Fashion Week. I am going in um, for a show this afternoon. Um, but this morning, well it's not this morning, it's like, mid, it's like I don't know what time it is, 11.30, um, I'm actually going to have my nails done. I haven't had them done in so long and they're just a bit gross. So I am excited to have those done and I'm going to townhouse for that. So I'll show you when I get there. I just thought I'd show you my last outfit of London Fashion Week. Um, I've just got a black roll neck on, this really cool like snake jacket. I've just got white um, jeans on. These are quite new actually. Well, quite new, they are new from French Connection. And my Balenciaga trainers. I am just walking to a townhouse now. It's such a nice day. I love when it's a blue sky. I 
won't take your word for it You think I think fanatically You thought I would forget Won't take your word for it So I have had my nails done and um, I'm just walking to the show now. So the designer is Chanel Joan Elkiam. I hope I'm pronouncing that correctly. Um, but she is the youngest designer showing this season. So it's really exciting um, to see new emerging talent come through. Um, and I'm just walking through Camden and I never come this way. And it's just nice to be somewhere different. And I actually got the bus here from the Oxford Circus. And I love riding the bus. I love getting to see London like not on the underground so yeah it's nice but i better check my google maps make sure i'm going in the right direction <laughs> they are just opening the doors and we are just waiting to go in button if you enjoyed this video thank you so much for watching and i'll see you soon bye